our environmental footprint can be broken down into four categories, carbon, water, waste, and air. Our carbon footprint is the effective impact we have on the amount of CO2 and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. It's measured by the carbon we emit directly through energy consumption and indirectly through the embodied carbon of the products, buildings, and services we utilize. Planting a tree is a great way to help recapture carbon. The average oak tree, for example, will capture and store 40 to 50 pounds of CO2 each year. Our water footprint is the total impact we have on drinkable water and groundwater. This is measured by our domestic water usage, as well as what is used for the energy, transportation, and products we utilize. One way to reduce your water footprint is to use a soil moisture sensor to ensure you water your lawn and outdoor plants only when necessary. Next is a big one, waste. Our waste footprint is the amount of material we throw away. Recycled and composted materials have a smaller impact on this footprint, while residual materials like unrecycled plastics and heavy metals can have major impacts. Waste can't be eliminated completely, but simply eliminated single-use plastic like drink bottles and grocery bags can reduce your waste 10%. And finally, air. Our air footprint is our impact on the breathable air as measured by our energy and fuel consumption, the chemicals we use, and the products and services we purchase. And to settle a long-standing debate, idling your car for more than 10 seconds uses more fuel than restarting it. Shutting your vehicle off saves gas, but also reduces the release of ozone and particulates that can affect children and those with respiratory complications.